right, this, uh, hey y'all, shalom, this is Pastor Lanny. All right, this message is for all of the people, everyone who follows our church on a regular basis. All right, I've, we've done lessons on this, uh, on tithes and offerings. I think Brother Daryl even did a lesson in the last month on tithes and offerings, okay? Tithes and offerings are a commandment. It's a commandment no different than thou shall not commit adultery, thou shall not kill, thou, you know, um, keeping the dietary law, keeping the Sabbath, not lying. Paying tithes and offerings is a commandment just like all the other commandments. So when you don't do that, you're breaking the commandment and you're sinning, all right? Also, we covered this in the, in the lessons we did on tithes and offerings. Paul, the apostle Paul tells you numerous times in the New Testament in his epistles that the laborers for Christ and that the pastors and the people doing this work are worthy of their hire, all right? And I'm bringing this up because we the, the church's minimum needs are met like we have luckily there is a a few people who pay tithes and give offerings and our need and the basic needs of the church are met but literally it's just the basic minimum needs right not anything extra we only only just the basic minimum needs get met we have people right who follow us who have never paid tithes and never paid any offerings you haven't paid any tithes, you haven't paid any offerings, ever. And you've been following this church, and you, you, you're you in the chat every week. You follow this church weekly, and you've contributed nothing, you've contributed nothing to the ministry, nothing to the church to help it grow, right? We even have some people, I travel to baptize you, and you know who you are. I've traveled to baptize you, and I don't think I, it, it, I, maybe you've contributed one time, but other than that, I don't even remember if it's one time, but it might have been one time. I have to check with Sister Amber. But literally, I traveled out of state to come baptize you on my own dime, and and you're in the chat every week, and you watch us every week, and you give no offering. And you can't, there's no excuse for this, okay? Like, you can't even be like, well, oh, I just don't have, okay, if you don't have anything, we have people who just contribute $10 every month. There's one lady who just, and I don't even know who, who she is. Like I know her name from her giving, but I don't know if she even be in the chat or whatever, but thank her for that. Thank you for that. She gives just $10 every month. You telling me I travel out of state to baptize you and you watch us every week and you can't even contribute $10 a month to the ministry to help it grow? The running a church costs money. All right. Besides my time and effort that I put into doing stuff, just running a church costs money. None of this stuff is free. The utilities for the church building is not free. The Internet for the uh, church is not free. The rent on the building is not free. Gas and other stuff to get there and do it. None of that stuff is free. All right. And even and this is shame on a lot of y'all, because even if you don't have any, even if you saying like, well, I just can't afford, even though it's a commandment. You could offer the help to church in some way. But it's like some of you, you don't offer the help with the newsletter. You don't even sing, offer to sing or do any type of, oh, I can contribute in this way, right? You you don't even do that. If you don't have, even if you don't have any finances to contribute, you can offer the help in some other way. You're robbing God and you're robbing me because I put a lot of work into this stuff and we hardly, we don't ever ask for anything. Okay, and we hardly ever teach the lesson on tithes and offerings specifically because my people, my kinsmen in the flesh, black people, so-called black people, so-called Negroes, don't want to hear that. And I'm going to say this, right? Every Gentile, every Gen... Forget that. Every white person who follows our church regularly, every African who from, from the continent who follows our church regularly, and every Asian who follows our church regularly pays tithes and our offerings all of them 100 percent and we don't and that's not the majority of our church the majority of our church is so-called black people of the so-called black people the majority of y'all don't pay no tithes or any offerings 
even if we're not your main church, I hope if you follow us every week, you should contribute an offering at some point. And I hope if you have another church, even though you follow us every week, if you have a church that you consider your main church that you also follow every week, I hope you paying them tithes because you breaking the you're breaking the commandment. Okay. And for my people in the flesh, this is why my my kinsmen. This is why when you go to restaurants and stuff, the waiters don't like to see you coming because they know you're not going to tip or else you're going to dine and dash. Okay. My time is valuable. I sacrifice lots of time over 40 hours a week to do stuff for the church and prepare stuff for the church. I sacrifice time for my own family to do this stuff. And y'all just, and a lot of y'all just robbing me, robbing the church and robbing God. Paying tithes and offerings is a commandment. It's in the Bible. It's a commandment. Okay. And it's not right for you to follow us every week. And I'm talking to the, I'm talking to the black people specifically. All right. In the church. Cause and for the, and about 75 to 90% of the black people who follow our church never contribute nothing. And for the 10% of you, the 10% to 25% of the black people who do contribute, thank you. Because you are carrying the church, literally. And for the Gentiles and the heathen, the, the whites and the Asians and uh, and and so forth, them and the 10 to 25% of Negroes who pay tithes and offerings, you are carrying the church. The rest of y'all are just eating for free. And another shame on y'all is that some of the people from the continent, they wire money to, for offerings to contribute. And when they wire money, this is coming from Africa. You know, they giving the most that they that they can. They might send over like thirty thousand shillings. And when I and when you do the wire transfer, it turns out to like twelve dollars American. But at least they sending that for a contribution all the way from Africa. You people live here in the United States and can't contribute nothing. And really, and one of the people, one of the. One of the persons that I'm really specific, it's all of y'all who don't do this because you're breaking the commandment. But one of you, one of you in particular, it really offends me because I traveled out of state, out of my own pocket to baptize you. You know, a few years ago, you contribute nothing to this ministry. Okay, so that being said, all right, because I've been like the, the past couple weeks, because I try to stay on top of everything for this ministry, doing the lessons and all of that. Um, and it's like a job and sometimes I, I be stressing like a regular job because I'm like I got timetables to meet I got to make sure these lessons are done the the, qu the answers for Q&A Torah schools prepared the Shabbat Eve Bible studies prepared the Sabbath convocation lessons prepared all of this stuff preparing stuff for the feast days and all that that's not for do you think it do you think getting cabins at a state park is cheap for a Sakat, do you think this stuff, do you think the food just magically appears? No, it doesn't, it, that's not the way it works. You have to, people have to contribute in order for this stuff, in order for this stuff to work. Okay. All right. So y'all, you know, and especially for the ones where if I've traveled, especially for the person where it's like, I traveled to baptize you. It's like, really, you can't even contribute $10 for the church or for the ministry. So I've been stressing like, oh, I got to make sure I meet these deadlines and stuff for the ministry. But, you know, 80 to 90 percent of y'all don't contribute anything. So why am I stressing? So I'm not going to be stressing. I'm taking a lazy week for the next couple weeks uh, so I can spend time with my wife, you know, and family okay? more because I sacrifice a lot of that stuff for the church. So for the people in Torah class, which... Some of y'all even in some of y'all even registered in the Torah class never contribute anything, right? For y'all in the Torah class, sometime later this week I'll get your homework assignment grades back to you, and I'll get the midterm back to you, right? And but outside of that, and you know we're not having Torah class this week anyway, as we mentioned, right? But I'm gonna be taking a, you know, relaxing a little bit, conserving my energy because I've been I've been stressing. And like I said, the majority of the people that I'm the majority of what I'm stressing for to get done, I feel like a lot of y'all don't appreciate. And remember, like I said, even if you can't contribute, even if you can't contribute to the ministry financially, 
how come you've never offered to help in any other capacity? Like, hey, can I help with the newsletter? Hey, I know how to sing. You want me to sing sometimes? Hey, I can do, what can I do to help? What can I do to help? Is there anything I can do to help on my end? You feel me? And I'll say this too, again, the Gentiles and the heathen, the whites and the others, the non-so-called African-Americans, they ask me that all the time. What can I do to help? What do you need? There's only a few of my own people that are a part of this church that do that. And for the few of you who do that, thank you and God bless you. Because you literally carry the church. And you Gentiles and the heathen that follow our church, because y'all pay tithes and offerings faithfully, thank you. Because you help the church to keep going. And thank you for those people that I just mentioned, because you also ask to if there's anything else you can do to help. Thank you, and I appreciate that. And I pray that God bless and I pray that God blesses you. And remember this: any amount given is an offering, even if it's five dollars, even if it's two dollars, you know, whatever. That can help and go a long way to contributing to furthering the ministry. Okay. All right. Shalom.